What's old is new again, according to Governor Hochul in today's State of the State address. She announced plans to expand transit service between Brooklyn and Queens using 14 miles of existing freight tracks. CBS 2's Sally Bauman reports now on the Interborough Express. It's definitely a journey getting to Queens. But that journey from Bay Ridge may be getting shorter with what Governor Hochul is calling the Interborough Express, a new rail service from Bay Ridge to Jackson Heights built on 14 miles of existing freight tracks. I'm directing the MTA to immediately commence an environmental review so we can get that project rolling down the track. The governor claims travel time end to end will be less than 40 minutes and connect an estimated 900,000 people to 17 subway lines and the Long Island Railroad. This now gives people a chance to go from one neighborhood to the other without having to rely on a car, without having to take a subway to downtown Brooklyn and take another subway all the way back out. State Senator Andrew Gennardis believes the expansion will incentivize development near the line. Affordable housing, new jobs, small businesses. Any ways we can generate tourism, connect people to jobs, um, is, a, is a major step in the right direction in addressing inequality in this borough. The Regional Plan Association, RPA, has been pushing for versions of the Interborough Express for decades. The need that has existed for a long time is finally aligning, aligning with some of the political realities um, that are needed to make sure that New Yorkers are um, you know, thriving in their own communities. RPA's New York director says the city needs the added lines more than ever as severe weather is increasingly paralyzing our current transit system. When there's another storm that might knock out the subway system, we'll be able to have this other network that can get people uh, around the city. One critic is Assembly Member Catherine Nolan, who in a statement says she's concerned neither the governor nor MTA briefed our office or community. If it would cut down the, the commute time, that'd be a great thing for everybody in the community. The MTA will have to decide whether the new line will be heavy rail, light rail, or bus rapid transit, and it's still unclear how much this will cost riders and taxpayers. In Bay Ridge, Brooklyn, Ali Bauman, CBS2 News.